Hey everybody, Mr. Campbell back with another tutorial. We are talking about the best extensions for teachers and students. Our next extension on the list is Bitly. It is a URL or link shortener. Um, I used Bitly prior to uh, Google when they had their geo.gl um, link shortener. Um, there's also rebrandly. There's there's a few different ones. The reason I chose Bitly is because um, I like the way that I can track the information afterwards. It is a freemium product, which means that there is a free version, but to get all of the um, access to all of the reports and all of the information, there is a fee that you need to pay. So the way that a URL shortener uh, works is it basically takes your URL, right, which is your website address plus the, you know, article plus the date plus the time and all that and it shrinks it down into a smaller link there's a lot of companies that do this there's es.pn right for espn twitter shortens everything the t.co when you're adding images other things like that linkedin has one a lot of companies have those now um why would i want to use that as a teacher well it saves me a room it saves me time and i can create custom short links so that i know later where i want to have them instead of just having it be a hyperlink text i can just have the link right there so let's talk about what that looks like. So as a teacher, um, I, I um, came back to high school when LeBron James said he was coming back. And so we used this article from uh, Lee Jenkins and LeBron James um, as a kind of uh, informational paper example. It's a fantastic article. If you haven't read it, there's, there's a great introduction. There's a great conclusion. There's a hook. There's transitions. Um, it's about nine paragraphs. And so I use this to show my kids. Um, in class, what a good um, paper looks like, right? So this was kind of our exemplar text uh, that we're looking at on the screen. So um, I've in installed, right, the bit.ly URL shortener here. And if I want to, and I've already shortened this, but it's going to pull up right here. So I have the link as I move my picture over here. I've already created the link bit.ly.lebron.si. Uh, so that shows me, right? the article, so I can copy that, I can share this on something else. When I open up a new window, I'm just gonna throw in the short link right there. So you'll see it's everything that I just had. I'm gonna hit enter. And what that's gonna do is it's gonna forward me to the link that I want to do this, or um, the link that I want to share. A few reasons that I wanna do this. One, um, it shortens everything. So if I wanted to send it home in Remind or a uh, some sort of text message or a Google Classroom or something like that where I'm communicating with parents, I want it to be as short as possible because I only have a limited amount of characters. I also can track how many students are clicking on it. So if I create a Google Form and I shorten the Google Form link, which Google already does by itself, right? Um, I can track how many kids are clicking on that. So this is what this looks like. When I go to bit.ly.com, right? I'm already connected to my account. What you're going to see, uh, um, you're going to see, sorry, the information as I move my picture on the link that I shared, how many clicks it's got um, and how many people are clicking on it. That's why I like the URL shortener. It's right there. It sh shrinks it down. I can copy that, send it off to wherever I need to use it, and I can also track how many times it's clicked. Again, if you're here, it's because you're an educator looking for extensions to help um, things move quickly, more efficiently, and with less frustration. I'm glad that you're here. I love you. I appreciate you. If this brought value to your life, saved you time, energy, and frustration, go ahead and subscribe um, and leave the comments on what you think. Thanks so much.